Welcome back, everybody. Well, spring cleaning shouldn't just be about cleaning your home. It should also be about cleaning your mental health, too. Author and blogger Laura Wellington recently wrote an article about life cleaning that's been blowing up online. Check out this clip. An article that I wrote, Life Cleaning is House Cleaning, but only for your life, has gone off the rails. It's been flipped onto parents.com. It's at the center of a segment of four, Good Morning Arizona. It's going next week to Breakfast Television, which is the number one morning show in Toronto. Basically what the article is about is how you need to, at least once a year, take a look at your life and clean out the garbage so that you can begin again in a much better way. Amen. Better, or rather easier said than done, Laura. Thank goodness you're here. I want to get right into it. So this, this concept of a life cleaning for our mental clutter or health, as it were, how did you come up with this? I know it, it's from personal experience, right, for you. Yes. Um, you know, we get to points in our life where we start feeling very weighed down. And I was feeling that way. And I said to myself, well, what is causing this? So I took a step back. Oh, she froze. I said, oh, it's back. Yeah, I left. wanted to honestly evaluate. Okay, Sarah. So I, I took a step back and I said, I have to ev honestly evaluate my life. And, um, and I did that. And then I realized, you know, I ended up cleaning out the garbage that was in my life at the moment. And I felt freer. And I said, my God, why don't we do that? each spring why don't we along with spring cleaning life clean and just you know do exactly what we do around the house look at what needs to be cleaned up and clean it clean it up in our lives so that's what i did and it's hard to do i've done it and i have to say some people can't do it maybe they're too close in terms of family or maybe workplace but it is very hard and you say it can seep in in ways we don't even realize it can affect other relationships if there's somebody who's an energy vampire or super toxic in your life how so yeah, so I really believe that um, there are three top points to life cleaning that I, um, I I sort of focus in on. One is tossing people who drain you out of your life. Two is let go of the guilt associated with being an imperfect parent. And three is stop skipping breakfast. And the first is one of the hardest because, you know, there are some people that are in your life that really are sucking you dry and you don't even realize to the extent that they are but they are and you know some of these people you can't you know you can eliminate from your life and so you just have to decide like where you can place them and what boundaries you set but others you can and those that you can you need to because you don't have enough life to live. You don't have enough time in the day. And you certainly don't deserve to be laid down by someone that's trickling their garbage onto you. And then in a sense, you become a carrier of that garbage to other people that you uh, interact with. Yeah. You don't deserve that. So you have to get, you have to be honest. We are, where are people helping you and who then and get rid of the ones that aren't. And it can be difficult, but you, you know what? It's a choice that you either make or you don't, but you're better off making it. And your peace of mind is worth it. And you could so do it nicely. You could do it kindly. You could write it in an email. That's how I did it. You can talk it out afterwards kindly. But once it's done, it's done. And I also love that you say parents are feeling so much guilt. There's no good in yeah, that. Of course. Constantly you don't have saying, what mean. could I have done better? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So my mom actually helped me with this one. Because, you know, as a parent, I, I the, the reality is the only thing perfect about someone being a parent is they love, they put into everything that they do for their children. But at the end of the day, you're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes. It's hard to admit that and it's hard to live with that, but we do because we are imperfect. And so letting go of that guilt is the best thing you can do for yourself because you can't change the past and you you can't say well I should have done this then because then was a very different time than now so just allow yourself to process what you might have could have done better and then move on and just do better the next time and I know it's tough 
But you, no matter what you do, even if you were a perfect parent, your child is not guaranteed to grow up to be the exact perfect person that you would like them to be. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's better. You know, know that they learn that up front by your own imperfections. Great so advice. Go Laura, thank you so much for your time. Amazing advice for every single one of us out there today. Feel better even just hearing it. Where do we find more information? Um, you can either go to laurajwellington.com, um, where my book, you know, is, uh, you'll learn more about my book, Be Careful What You Wish For, mm -hmm. or threadandbe.com, which is my blog. Awesome. Thank you. Stay safe. All right. Coming up next, everybody, over 2 million vaccine doses expected to arrive in Canada this week as the country reaches a grim milestone. FISA has more on the other side of this break.